Julep, pap 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 Julep, pap 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 Julep, pap 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 Yeah, I'm really, really buzzing to be signing for a new three-year deal. Uh, it's what I've been working hard to try and achieve and yeah, really pleased that I've, I've managed to put pen to paper. Means the world, doesn't it? Like, growing up through, through all the age groups and that and going to first team games, watching them, thinking that's where I want to be and to, to have achieved that and now be here for another three years and hopefully more to come. Well, you know how golf is, sometimes it goes well, sometimes it goes very bad and after this first shot, it seems like it's going all right at the minute. I used to play it like as a kid, done a couple of lessons and whatnot, but sort of stopped, played football. And then over lockdown, like a couple of my mates was just, just like, oh, do you, wanna, do you wanna go play? And ever since then, I just got the bug, really. Nice, isn't it, to get out in the, in the fresh air, like on days off, especially. Just switch your mind off and just, yeah, come out, have some fun, um, play with your mates and, yeah, have a laugh, really. It's fell up against Collett. Nicky Bell make it count. He can! A Mickey Bell special books City's place in the area final against Cambridge and there could be no argument, the best team won. Unfortunately when he played I was a bit too young still, um, so I don't have too many memories of that. The last time we played Bristol Rovers we won, uh, I was a ball boy that day, uh, sat, in the, sat in front of the Dolman stand watching Watching Jet score that, that worldie. An astonishing hit from J. Emmanuel Thomas! And then, yeah, I ball boyed a couple more games throughout the next season when, I, when I'd signed, um, which is something I, I like to do because sort of by the pitch you get a real feel for how quick the game was and, yeah, like watching them was good, good memories of that. Born in Bristol. But I grew up my whole life in Nelsey, literally what, a few miles from the High Performance Centre and, and the ground. I've played for Nelsey United from the age of about six, right up until I signed for the academy. So it was at a tournament just outside the ground on Ashton Park, um, and Scout sort of approached my dad and said, like, does he want to come along for a trial? And, yeah, six week trial and I got signed at, at the end of that and that was when I was 12, I think. Start of under 13 season, so yeah, that's how I got signed. We've had a few tours, um, so uh, we've been to Denmark a couple of times. Copenhagen. And then we played like games against Juventus, Monaco, which we beat both of them, so we're, we're unbeaten in Europe, which is not a bad, not a bad thing to say. Uh, so we've got Tommy Conway, um, Riley, they're both my age group, and then even like Eamon, he's a year, year below me, and then uh, Scotty, like, like the last couple of years, and when I was a scholar and that, he was coming into it. Um, so yeah, and obviously the two keepers, the two nutters. Having them in and around you every day it just makes makes you feel a lot more, a lot more relaxed and like yeah, so it's just good having them with you. When you take a step back and look look at it, it's sort of like like yeah, wow, I'm actually I'm actually here, part of the the first team squad, which obviously is something I've wanted to do all my life. So. Yeah, really, really happy to be a part of it. Well, obviously get the club where we need to be in the Premier League. It's, it's ready for it. We just need to kick on and take that extra step. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can be a part of that. Score some goals and get us there, yeah. Like I said earlier, like local lad, it's, it's what, what, what you dream of when you're a little kid. Um, to play professionally and especially for a club that's only 10 minutes up the road from you what you want, isn't it?